Taas po ng energy niya, Kuya Bry. Oo oh, nga. <laughs> Oo. Hi, Darren. Actually, kakapasok ko lang. Nag-message nga ako dun sa ano, kay kay Justin, kung natanong na yung mga tanong ko, baka nabatsaka ako. Ay, hindi. Kaya yan, Kuya. <laughs> Ang taray nung... Uy, nag-lipstick ako, Darren, tapos kinuya mo ako. Charot Ay, lang. Taray. <laughs> Joke lang, joke lang. <laughs> uh, <laughs> question ko, Jaren, is... Actually, parang nakita ko na rin naman to sa, sa mga articles that recently came out was parang sinadya mo talaga na parang to rebrand yourself. ba diba? Parang with, with, how, with how you look physically, ganyan. And, mm-hmm. and, 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 and of course, with the type of music na, na you are... You, you have recently released ganyan. Um, what was during the pandemic exactly na nag-trigger sa'yo to have that kind of, of to have that kind of change? At bakit ngayon? Bakit ngayon yung feeling mo perfect timing to initiate that kind of change? Ito po talaga is uh, I really like that question kasi nung umalis po ako for Canada back in March 2020 everyone saw this you know like sa physical appearance itong payatot na darin na alam mo yun is is still trying to figure out what he wants uh, sa look niya and also sa music niya kasi um, you know I'm still trying to explore as many genres as I can po talaga yung ma-box in yung sarili ko sa isa lang um, but you know my team and I thought that this would be the perfect time po talaga na medyo mag-rebrand and um, mag-iba na ng sound and ng look kasi isang taon po akong hindi rin nakita ng mga kapamilya natin on stage like sa ASAP for example talagang nakikita lang po nila ako sa sa LED sa na naka green screen yung background ko and also sa social media sa Instagram lang so hindi talaga nila nakikita kung um kung ano yun na yung Darren ngayon so uh, even before I flew back to the Philippines we really wanted this kind of change na rin to kind of kasi yun nga po magto 20 na rin ako um i'm out of my teenage years you know that that life antog sa, sa decade na yun sa buhay ko po so i'm not a teen anymore and um you know it's part of growing up not just as a person din po but as an artist in your career kailangan mo rin minsan um ibahin yung tunog mo yung ibahin yung uh, tawag dito yung look mo so we thought that this would be the perfect time now and I'm so glad that um, na achieve naman po namin ng team ko yun uh, and I'm really happy with how um, you know people are commenting on my new single and also yung bago ko pong look especially nung birthday ko <laughs> so yung birthday post ko so uh, oh, oh, oh. yun po talaga siguro yung post na yun nung birthday ko yung talagang um na namulat yung tao na ah si Darren din na talaga siya yung Darren from the Voice Kids like he's really um he's growing up he's transitioning into this adult na talaga yes and ay at talaga namang naging usap-usapan ang galing nung team mo for that for yeah. for na i think naging successful in terms of reintroducing Darren as not not anymore as a teenager parang mm-hmm. Thank you po. Yeah. Kasi yun nga, I mean, um, yung image ko po has always been, you know, wholesome naman. And until now, it's still wholesome. Pero, um, it's a part of growing up, you know, you can start showing a bit more skin. You can start um, writing about different topics in your own songs and stuff like that, that you didn't really understand the concept of when you were younger. And now you do. So, uh, yun po, parte rin talaga siya ng... Um, yun nga, adulthood na tinatawag siguro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. And yung yung last question ko sa'yo, Darren, was kasi parang naalala ko before nag-pandemic, parang nagka-event pa tayo noon eh. Ganyan. Okay. Tapos parang supposedly there were plans for you to parang yung sa China. So parang could somehow parang give you an international career. Ganyan. So Ngayon ba, um, where are you with regards to going the route of international? Yes po, um, an international route. Well, of course, I'd say isa po yun sa mga goals namin naman. Lahat kaming artists na one day ay makonquer din po yung international scene. 
and you know guesting and appearing on China's The Singer 2019 was such an amazing experience for me um sobrang unexpected din po siya para sa akin na ayun nga po um medyo ify na ako eh sa pagjo-join ng mga contests pero itong Singer 2020 sana um I was really prepared for it um I just really wanted to you know have a new experience po and of course syempre sa China to so international siya and um that would be great din sa sa journey ko po as an artist in um finding out what I want to do next sa career ko and all of that um and it's kind of sad na yun nga po yung singer 2020 was the last season na uh for that show so um you know if there will be other opportunities i'd love to you know try try it out then um if there's something like singer nga po uh in china and stuff like that so hopefully one day um aside from performing on other international shows i really want to um tawag dito release music internationally as well and uh, achieve international recognition snacks naman uh libre lang oh. mangarap eh kaya para sa akin uh, go lang ng go yun po yeah and we wish na ano sana mangyari yun feeling ko feeling ko yan ang mangyayari talaga sa iyo no. there thank you oy congratulations sa and we look forward to your concert thank Salamat you po. thank you sam with two m's thank <laughs> you so much wow well, kinilig ako char but thank you for joining us for sabi nga go lang ng go darren you never know manifest yeah. those things for sure into into life diba and also, like we always say growth talaga diba so we're so yeah. proud of you darren grabe <laughs> <Thank> wow <laughs> <laughs> okay, next let's go to Josephine Bonsol of joebonsol.net. Hi Darren, hello. hello. Congratulations po. on your concert. It's a home run concert. My Salamat. question is, I hope you hear me all right. I hope my voice is loud enough. Yes, uh, my question is, um, what are the things still in seven years of your career? Because everybody looks at how you started then you know okay. you're very inspiring and we love the transformation the things that you're doing now what are the things still in your bucket list that we should watch out for are you still excited to share to us well you know um yun nga po, aside from the concert i just can't wait for everyone to see um you know this this whole show and yun nga po aside from that uh the music video is something that everyone should watch out for as well yung music video po nang tama na because when i was a kid i was very hesitant with coming up with concepts talagang i I'd, i'd say na mas um pinapabayaan ko po yung creative team kung gumawa ng concept for my music videos and all that kasi parang nahihiya pa akong mag-pitch ng mga sarili, sarili ko pong concepts eh. and now yung music video ng tama na it's something that um, shows a newer side of there and a more mature side nga po and also um, I'm just happy that I got to collaborate with such talented people like yung team po ng Toothless Productions si Dwight and Jonathan and all that um, so ayun po and also what other things can you expect from the new Darren of course new music po yung new sound ni Darren ngayon and Um, other things on my bucket list. What else? Parang when this pandemic is over, I want um, to stage another major concert po sana with you know this whole this new look, this new sound. So uh, those are a few of the things that people should look out for. And Darren, I hope you're still hearing me because it's really uh, raining so hard where I am right now. Um, <laughs> My next question is, we're always seeing, and especially, you know, my students, they're always seeing uh, sharing your video of mm. collaboration with Zach. And that's oh, yes, a so. very beautiful, mm. beautiful collab. Will there be more collabs with him and more artists to come that we will watch out for? Definitely, po. I mean, I really want to collaborate with more artists, pero... As of now, 
Um, ayun nga po, I've only been able to collaborate with Zach so far and I'm just so happy kasi Zach and I are from the same batch of the Voice Kids. Uh, team Sarah po ako, Team Bamboo siya at the time. And seven years later, here we are collaborating on my single and even his single na Bini Bini. We we were just so happy to be able to do this now. And um, yeah, hopefully in the future po, uh, makakollaborate pa po ako with other artists as well. My last question is, are you brewing another genre of music? You're exploring a different <laughs> genre of music still uh, now? Or uh, medyo fix ka muna at one particular uh, project you're doing? Right now, um, of course, I want to explore more genres po na pwede kong gawin and release kasi uh, medyo sinimulan namin yun sa single ko from 2019, yung Sasagipin Kita which is alternative po, uh, something I haven't done before in my original songs. And then, yung Believe in Christmas, which I released in 2020 naman na parang pop R&B na ibang tunog din po eh, ibang darin. And then now, with Tama na na urban pop naman siya. So, uh, yeah, I, I want to explore and try out different genres for my own singles as well. And, ano po eh, I feel like you just have to keep on um, being creative with yourself because the creative process never stops unless you want it to you know um, you have to just keep working on it and um, stay driven po talaga. congratulations thank you very much Darren thank you Sam and thank Salamat you to everybody thank congratulations you. po thank you for joining us and thank you for your question